What's up, YouTube world? This is Steven again. It is currently 11.48 p.m. on August 9th of 2018. I would like to welcome you all to my fifth video game review. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the video game Mad Max. This, uh, for the Xbox One, this game I actually just finished beating a few minutes ago. And, uh... There's a reason why he's called Mad Max. He's mad, he's livid, he's angry, he's pissed off as a motherfucking bitch. Okay, in all seriousness, I thoroughly enjoyed this game. I absolutely love this game. Uh, first of all, just getting the rating out of the way, it's getting a 5 out of 5 from me. I really, really enjoyed this game. And ahead of time, if you are watching, there will be spoilers, so if you don't want to hear any spoilers, leave now. And if you're still around, as usual, that is your fault. So, where to start? You end up, like the very beginning of the game, you end up with a guy named Scrotus and his minions, as I call them. and um, Or his convoy, actually, they're called a convoy. And his convoy, and um, you end up killing, or killing Scrotus. I'll get to why I quote that in a minute. And you end up meeting a guy, after you killed him, or killed him, you end up meeting a guy named Chum Bucket, and he helps you design this car called the Magnum Opus, and you end up upgrading it through the entire game uh, by completing different wasteland objectives and main storyline objectives and collecting scrap metal. And that scrap metal, or scrap as it's called in the game, goes towards either an upgrade for Max or an upgrade for the Magnum Opus. And I really liked this game. I loved the uh, map layout. It's open world, by the way. If you like open world games, I'm telling you, please get this game. It's at a, it's at a really, really good price, too. Um, I got it at GameStop for $14.99. I'm an uh, Elite Pro member for now because they're <laughs> getting rid of it. Or, or they actually got rid of it. You can't renew it anymore. But I'm an Elite Pro member until, I think, November. So, yeah, I got it for uh, $14.39, actually. $14.39 at GameStop. I think they're selling it for about 10 bucks now. But uh, this was back in about January or February. So, yeah, it's an open world game. And it's laid out in five different territories. There is Jeet's territory, Gutgash's territory, Pink Eye's territory, the Dunes, and I think Deep Frya's territory, which is also which also has the main place where Max wants to go to, and that is Gastown. And Gastown is um like I said the main place you want to go to and the main place that you will find Scrotus again. And uh, another thing I like about this is you can um, build different like projects at different um, what are called strongholds. Jeet's stronghold, Pink Eye's stronghold, um, Gut Gash's stronghold, and Deep Fry's stronghold. And you can build um, different projects there to upgrade the stronghold and they will be more on your side and doing that you can also unlock different um wasteland missions and main storyline missions and and another thing i like about this game the storyline was very long um that's why i liked about this game i don't like short storylines it's kind of like if it's a short storyline it ends kind of abruptly this one did not end abruptly and um the ending, uh, it was kind of sad at first, but um, then, uh, okay, so I'm going to get to this. You get to uh, Gastown, and then you go to the Gastown race, and you try to defeat um, the, I guess, weaponized, uh, what do you call him, uh, Scrotus, and you think that's the actual Scrotus, but no. Um, He's the one that's driving the uh, that big vehicle in the Gastown race, and then you d eventually defeat him. But he kicked you down this like this hole, and everyone thinks thinks you're dead, but you're really not. And then they figure out you survived, and um, yeah. <laughs> and you also meet this woman named Hope, and 
you try to go after her daughter, or no, you try to find her daughter. Is it Faith? No. What is it? Glory. It's Glory. And you try to find her daughter, Glory, Hope and Glory. <laughs> I, I like how that goes together. And uh, Hope is gorgeous, by the way. And um, you try to find her daughter, and you eventually do in the uh, what's called the Under Dunes, which is in the Dunes region. And you drive her back to Hope, and you are actually... Oh no, and then um, Chum Bucket, who is your main man during this whole thing, drives the uh, Magnum Opus back to his hideout, and uh, Max thinks he stole it, Max thinks he betrayed him, and uh, Hope is trying to talk him, when uh, Max brings back uh, Glory to Hope, Hope tries to talk him out of um, going to Chum's hideout and trying to get the... Uh, Magnum Opus back because he's like, you know, he betrayed you, don't worry about it, let it go, stay here and we can become a family. And uh, he decides no, he goes back to Chum's hideout and gets the Magnum Opus, and he figures out that Chum got beaten up by some of Scrooge's, uh convoy. And then you end up being the convoy that's there, and you go... Uh, Oh, and then you go and try and beat Scrotus, and the way you do that is you gotta take out his convoy first, and and then you can take out Scrotus and his gigantic ass vehicle, which is made out of multiple vehicles, by the way. And uh, what you gotta do is you gotta go for the sides. You gotta use the uh, harpoon. That's um that's part of the weaponized uh, magnum opus you gotta shoot the harpoon out and take out both sides and that way it's it's um exposing the gas barrels and that way you can either use a shotgun or a thunder harpoon or as they call a thunderpoon and shoot at the uh shoot the red barrels the red gas barrels and that way it would blow up the vehicle and at the very end um then you find out that well, the way you think that you killed Scrooge at the, be at the very beginning is um, you chainsawed through through his head. You chainsawed his brains, and you thought you killed him, but no. Uh, he eventually got his head got repaired, and they implanted some kind of like uh, some kind of like doll head with like a little screw thing, and it got like stitched into his head. And the uh, way you beat him now is. Okay, his car is hanging off of a cliff, his truck is hanging off of a cliff, and you use the magnum opus to ram the truck off the cliff. But in the process, Chum Bucket dies. And the uh, that big truck that Scrooge is driving is leaking fuel, and the fuel catches fire and it sets Chum Bucket on fire, the already dead Chum Bucket on fire. And but right when the truck falls off the cliff, Scrotus jumps out of the trunk or drives out of the trunk with another car and then <laughs> you gotta beat um Scrotus yet again for a third time he's like invincible you think but no now the way you do this is with um you get these things with like I guess like thunder sticks as I call them and you throw them at the car that he's driving and when the thunder sticks hit the car, they explode. That's why they're called thunder sticks. And um, they explode, and they hurt both him and the car. It takes about maybe three, if you're lucky, two, to uh, to um, have the car explode and send Scrotus flying. And the way you finally end Scrotus, and it doesn't allow you to kill him, but it shows you how he dies. He uh, Max grabs the... Uh, the little doll head and the uh, knife and screw that's sticking through his head, he grabs it and rips it out. And then it, uh, Scrooge bleeds out through the head. And that's how you finally end him. And that it would be the end of the main story of Mad Max. And, um, I just really enjoyed this game. I love the story mode, I loved the open world. Uh, you can do many things. You can do in this game. You can do death runs. You can scavenge the wasteland and get 
more scrap metal to upgrade the magnum opus you can uh, upgrade different strongholds like I mentioned before you can do a lot of stuff in this game and um, this is great if you want to up to up your gamer score if you play for the Xbox one or get more trophies if you play for the PS4 and uh, this is just a great game in general and I hope people go out and buy it because I thoroughly enjoyed this game and it is so underrated and I don't know what else to say, I just really loved this game. So that is my video game review for Mad Max. I am going to take a look at my other games and see what um, other games I can review, but that is my video game review for the Xbox One version of Mad Max. If you liked what you saw in this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and comment below, and I'll see you guys next time with another video. This is Steven, signing out.